everyone, welcome back. It's Mike Shuddy, creator and author of the Kentucky Derby Super Screener. Well, it's that time of year again for the ever popular Kentucky Derby Super Screener Top Long Shot Picks video. Hey, listen, consider this for a moment. In these 20 horse Kentucky Derby fields, over half of the field will be going off at odds of 20 to one or higher. Now, only one, sometimes two of those long shots will ever make it into the Superfecta. So the real challenge here and opportunity is to isolate those one or two long shots that have the best, the best potential to potentially get in and create the score of a lifetime. Now look, we take every one of these horses through our Super Screener 25 plus handicapping screening criteria so that we can isolate the most likely winner as well as eliminate vulnerable favorites. But what we very uniquely do is take every single one of the long shots and put them through our proprietary screening algorithm that includes 15 plus very different handicapping variables. And it's that that creates some of the outcomes we've enjoyed over the past few years. Last year, Rich Strike was our co-high scoring top long shot pick. We uh, sent out notes to all the subscribers, get this one in your wagers as he came into the race very last minute. We've got the video, the analysis to prove it. But then again, looking over this historically, you look at the horses we've recommended, such as Looking at Lee, Battle of um, Midway, Commanding Curve, Golden Soul, Went the Day Well, just to name a few. All of those horses went off at 30 to one or higher. They were our top long shot picks and they got into the trifecta, the exacta and the superfecta. So who's the highest scoring horses this year when we take them through all of that proprietary long shot screening criteria? Well, let's get the reveal going. So the third highest scoring horse is Disarm. Let's take a look at Disarm's uh, past performances and try to understand why this one is such a top pick. So right from the outset, take a look at the red arrow. That shows a horse that has moved very, very incrementally forward in each of his starts since his debut. This is a really key piece of criteria to isolate these long shots. Then take your eyes over to the purple frame and note the doubling up of 100 plus brisk late pace figures. That is a super signal in terms of a horse that has the potential to get into that super effect at huge odds. Now, as the pace this year will be rather modest, if you're going to look at a long shot that is a closer, this horse is going to have to be able to overcome that particular uh, pace setup. So what you're looking for are these really strong late pace figures. And this horse uh, had everything to make up in that extremely glacial pace that was the uh, risen, uh, the Louisiana Derby. And he knocked out a 110 bris late pace figure. That's huge. Um, so here's a horse that can overcome a, a very slow pace and still get into the money. Now this barn was forced to run him back very quick to get those derby points. And um, that was less than, you know, three weeks between races, less than ideal distance at a mile and a 16th. He was forced to move early, but he got the job done. He got the points, he's in the field. And note those sire and dam stats, seven plus on both for average winning distance. That's super key as well in terms of indicating a horse with a lot of stamina. Um, are there concerns about coming back now again in three weeks? Yes, but note that razor sharp work last out. This horse is very durable. He's a big old boy. He's gonna be able to sustain uh, his stamina for a long portion of the race. This horse needs a mile and a quarter. All right. Who's the second highest scoring top long shot pick revealed by the super screener? At 90% score, um, take a look at two fills. Now let's look at those past performances. This horse has moved forward in each of his last six starts and he exploded on the synthetic surface, uh, submitting a tremendous running line highlighted there in the purple frame. And it shows these triple digit bris pace figures that he punched out for just about all of the second half of the race. The Derby pace, being on the modest side, no problem for this one. He'll be pressing in an excellent position. Note those huge pace figures he submitted in the Risen Star. And he was the only horse, the only front runner uh, to hit the board. That was a pace collapse kind of race. Now his last two races, another strong signal, mile and an eighth. So he's got the endurance, he's got a great foundation. 
His sire and dam stats, same thing here, just like disarm. Seven plus on the average winning distance, so super stamina. And you know, he's out of hard spun, so we know that horses get can get a, a race as far as a mile and a half. Um, and then, of course, you know, you look at the the fact that this horse is coming back to Churchill Downs. Uh, he liked and he scored it in the on a sloppy surface there. He certainly has form on the dirt, uh, and he fires a big bullet. While everybody's got uh, all the media attention in Churchill Downs, quietly it submits that big bullet at Hawthorne. He's um, definitely uh, one horse that meets so much of the criteria. Very, very strong long shot pick. Now, wait until you see who the super screener has put on top at an incredible score of 96%, which is the same score that Rich Strike had last year. Uh, in Las Vegas, the odds on this horse are anywhere from 30 to 1 to 50 to 1. But you can read all about it in this year's Kentucky Derby Super Screener. So all you need to go is to picks. Dot horseracingnation.com. We've got it all there for you, and I want you to go fast and win. See you there.